Today, I will show you how to set up a button in System.io. Step 1, you'll require two things, a System.io account and a page ready to be edited. Step 2, adding the button element identify the button element from your tools and simply drag and drop it into your desired location on the page. Step 3, configuring the button element next, click on the settings icon affiliated with the button element. This will display the button settings on the left panel of the page editor. Step 4, exploring the settings options you will notice 5 distinct options within the settings column for button configuration, each representing a different action. Step 5, employing send form action the first option, send form, is designed to capture and save the contact details of anyone who registers through the form. It simultaneously redirects them to the subsequent page in the sales funnel. Note, it's possible to have multiple send form buttons on your page, but each button must contain identical fields. All these buttons will then adhere to the same automation rules. Step 6, using show pop-up action The second possible action is show pop-up used to display a pop-up that you've crafted within the same editor page. Step 7, implementing open URL action The third action, open URL, allows your button to redirect to any desired page. Simply insert the URL of the page and select if you'd like it to open in the same or a different window. Step 8, navigating to next step URL action The fourth action, next step URL, is designed to take customers directly to the next stage within the sales funnel as soon as they click on the button. Step 9, utilizing download file action Finally, the download file action encourages users to download a file that you've preset. Simply click on the cloud icon to add a file for download. By following these steps, you'll be well equipped to set up a button in system.io tailored to your specific requirements.